movilizar fuerzas en el extremo sur de la llanura para que los flancos del este y el oeste. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo. Here. Well, well, well. Look who it is. The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution. I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you or me with, with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free. Yeah. Libre Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. Libre Mexico. It's like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. Ay, Dios mío, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Vámonos, mis hermanos. Ándale. You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Come on, John. We have to get to Chubalosa. Stop riding off, John. You're supposed to be protecting me. So how did you meet this Williamson and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together, under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids, lost, Angry and forgotten, he kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose he saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. Vamos! Come on! Buena. You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous of his poetic potential? Mierda, you're slowing us down, Marston. Yeah. A full fight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad. A musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your poster. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio, how I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, Young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez. 
Our country is kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who feeds his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes it. That's a very specific example, Abraham. How do you say, a uh, uh, puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little puppy dog that licks his feet and makes him feel loved. If he has Allende to eat the shit out of his puro, Allende will do it. That's a loyal dog. Sanchez is stupid. He knows the only way to keep power is to control the countryside. Best. For that, he needs vicious idiots like Allende. Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. Oh, watch what you're riding. Come on. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, I guess they will pay a high price for his treason. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set off a very loud distraction, you can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay, but listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Eh? There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. Wait here while I create a distraction. Why? La revolución es imparable!
a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. What are you waiting for? We need to get into that armored car. <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh. My spies tell me they soon will have the information you need.
buenos días, mi cordero perdido. Either give me the money or go to hell. Take the damn money, you bastard. She's all yours, okay? Enjoy her. Gracias, señor. Thank you. Will you miss me, mi amor? What are you going to do now? I will go to Las Hermanas. The sisters there will help me. You found it all. Hello.
Jong, excuse me. Oye, mamita, cuando te vea la próxima vez, que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? And I'm me rapper, ¿eh? What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, huh? Yes, the man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, John. Today we will both have victory. Let's ride, my brothers! My brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's man at El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. I am happy it was your bullet junk after what he did to you at Chuparosa. I wasn't gonna give him a second chance to kill me. He must have felt good. Not particularly. He was hardly worth a bullet. Where are they, Abraham? They are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met. The scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, you should have trusted your brother, Abraham, all along. When we have them, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. I knew I had heard the name Javier Escuella before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious urges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. A cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, Jung, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, but no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course, but then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right now. The Dutch started falling apart, and then Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he'd ever believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fondness. We was close once, but he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die. We had a chance to save him. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember Cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that cabron a surprise visit. 
I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williamson. Semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. And for her, you will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. You have an interesting way of serving the people. Kind of like a national gigolo. I owe it to the future of Mexico to breed, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing through the veins of peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? An army of reyes, of kings! I wish I'd never asked. been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. is gaining momentum. Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work... It will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life. But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. I have to say, I'm not usually in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me, too. But I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Enrique. A famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. Let us just enjoy the silence, John. It is so rare that we have it.
Presidio is just up ahead. Preparate, mi hermano. This is our time. Mike May will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. He's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Remember to jump, my friend.
just want to talk. Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not going to shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy, and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dodge, Dodge is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? If you left me to die, Whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. You won't get me alive, John! It's over, old friend. I got you now. Ah, me lleva la chingada. I'm taking you in, my brother. I'll let the others judge you. Where's Bill? I don't Where's know. Bill, you son of a bitch? Do you think I won't kill you, brother? He ain't here, brother. He's with a gender. Revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Let's go. Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. Come on. We was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. Come on! But you don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. Yeah! Not me. Yeah, and he's next. Come on. The 
You and Bill are back together. Two crazy men sharing a bed. Go to hell, you pathetic fool. Finally, you have what you came for, my friend. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Dutch never liked you, you know? I gave up caring about him or you a long time ago, friend. As I said, oh, you piece of shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh, ah, oh, you puto. Oh, one day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Uh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know, that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. Yeah, go with your puto. Oh, 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 oh. The army is coming. Aquí. Get up there and man that cannon. Careful. Dame espacio, animal. Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. 